Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and I want to follow up on last week's discussion on the refrigeration cycle with a discussion on the different types of refrigeration systems. There are four basic refrigeration systems. They are direct expansion, also called DX, air cooled condenser, direct expansion water cooled, chilled water air cooled, and chilled water water cooled. What I drew out last week was a DX air cooled system. So let's bring that back up. It's called direct expansion because we use the expansion and compression of the refrigerant to produce cooling. And it's air cooled because we used a fan to draw air across the condenser to cool the refrigerant. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Next we have direct expansion water cooled. The difference here is that instead of using moving air across the condenser to cool the refrigerant, you use water. So let's draw the components. We won't be as detailed as last time. Let's draw in our evaporator. And down here we'll put the compressor. And over here the condenser. and then we'll also need an expansion valve. So just like our DX water-cooled system, the refrigerant flows from the evaporator to the compressor to the condenser through the expansion valve and back into the evaporator. But the condenser is water-cooled. Water flows through a water-cooled condenser and the heat transfer happens between the refrigerant and the water. In a water-cooled condenser, the water enters the tubes cool as the refrigerant vapor flows past the tubes, heat is transferred from the refrigerant to the water so that the water exit the condenser warm and the refrigerant leaves as a liquid. In a water-cooled system, you also need a cooling tower. The water that is heated up in the condenser travels to the cooling tower. The cooling tower has a fan to draw air across water from the condenser this causes some of the water to evaporate and cool and the water falls to the bottom of the tower to the sump and that water goes back to the condenser to start the process all over again. So let's move this out of the way and make room for the next system. A chilled water air cooled system. In this system the condenser is air cooled and works like the first system but instead of the evaporator cooling down the supply air directly, it cools down water, which is then sent to a cooling coil, which cools down the supply air. So let's draw the components here again. Let's draw in our air-cooled condenser and our compressor. We have our evaporator. And our expansion device. Now let's draw the refrigerant route here from the compressor to the condenser to the expansion device to the evaporator and back to the compressor. Now you also have a chilled water coil. And the evaporator cools down water that is circulated to the cooling coil. The cooling coil cools down the supply air the supply air transfers its heat to the cooling coil which warms up the water and the water travels back to the evaporator to be cooled down again. So let's move this over and talk about the last type of system, chilled water, water cooled. As you can guess, this system has the chilled water system we just mentioned coupled with the water cool condenser and cooling tower we mentioned before as well. So let's draw in the components. We have our cooling coil, and our evaporator and our expansion device, the compressor and the condenser which is water-cooled 
and our cooling tower. So now you have the loop going from the evaporator to the compressor, to the condenser, to the expansion device, and back to the evaporator, plus a chilled water loop that goes from the cooling coil to the evaporator, plus the loop that goes from the cooling tower to the water-cooled condenser. So there are the four basic refrigeration systems. Let's bring them all back onto the screen here. So you can see the DX air-cooled, DX water-cooled, chilled water air-cooled, and chilled water water-cooled systems. So there you have them. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.